This video is going to cover Objective 4.5 practice tasks. The first step of this is to go to slide one and we're going to insert an audio clip from the practice file folder. The audio clip is not in the file folder. I have added it for you in Blackboard. Um, it is here and it wouldn't go in as um, like a zipped file or anything. If you just right click on this, you should have an option to save audio as. Um, even try copy audio location if you need to. But however you need to save it, go ahead and hit save it. And I would just put it on your desktop or somewhere where you're going to be able to find it in a few minutes. So just get it saved and then um, we'll go from there. So we're going to insert it uh, through PowerPoint. So you're going to click on the insert tab. You're going to go all the way over to audio and you're going to click audio on my PC. Once you click audio on my PC, then your uh, dialog box will generate in order to insert it and you want to make sure that you go ahead and click. It, it is labeled 3-4. It is not 3-4. This is the same audio clip. So this is what you are looking for. So once you insert it, the audio clip is up and then it asks us to, it tells us that the clip is two minutes in length and we're not going to listen to it. We're going to configure the audio playback options to play the audio on a loop in the background on all of the slides of the presentation. So we're going to click here where it says play in background and then we are going to hit loop until stopped, which is already um, what's checked, so we're good there. The next step is going to be to insert a 4-5 um, video clip onto slide two. So we're just gonna leave this here, and then we're gonna go to slide two, and we're going to hit insert, and we're gonna go all the way over to video. We're gonna click video on my PC, and this is in your practice file folder um, in objective four, and you're going to, um, Double click on the video and it should have gotten rid of that placeholder. If you didn't get rid of the placeholder, make sure you delete it behind there or you can actually go through the placeholder to add the video, whatever uh, you choose is fine as long as the placeholder is gone once the video is up. It says that the video clip is at 2 minutes 40 seconds, we want to trim it to start at 25 seconds and play for 1 minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to where it says trim video and we are going to start at 25 seconds and we can probably type that in down below if it starts to take a minute. Starts 25 seconds. Probably could have typed that. I am just going to type it. Whoops. And once you have 25 seconds there, we want it to play for a minute. So we're just going to take it to a minute 25 on here because then that means it would have played for a minute. I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the other one. And then you can hit play. And, then and from there, the next step is going to be to configure the video to start automatically when the slide appears and to fade out over the last five seconds of the video. So we're going to hit OK, and we want it to start automatically, and then we are going to have a fade out of five seconds. And it also stated that we wanted to start automatically. Yep, we did that. So we're going to mute the sound of the video so that it does not compete with the audio soundtrack. So we're going to click on where it says volume. We're going to hit mute and then set the video frame style to rotated white and that's in the moderate section. So we're going to go up here to video format and we're going to go into video styles and we are looking for a rotated white. Mine is the first one in the um, second row down. The next step is going to be to resize the video frame so that it's six inches wide and maintain the original aspect ratio. So we're just gonna change the width over here to six and let the height change on its own. And then center the video frame horizontally and align it with the bottom of the slide title. So we're just going to click on the video and when you have that dotted smart guideline that pops up, that means it's in the center. And then I'm just going to um, raise it a little bit. Once the other smart guide pops up, it then tells me 
that it is in the center of the um, slide and flush with the title. Then it says to test the soundtrack and video by playing the slideshow, so you're welcome to do that. At this time, this completes objective 4.5 practice tasks.